Some say it's an eyesore. The city says it's built for safety. And others, well, they just want to know what it is. CBS 2's Diane Macedo has more now on the mystery building in the Bronx that is turning heads. You see it from Pelham Parkway, you see it from the Hutchinson River Parkway, and if you're Mina Campanelli, you see it right from your front door. But still, I still don't know what it is. And Campanelli's not the only one. What was your reaction when you saw it going up? Well, the first thing is, uh, you know, I was inquisitive because it's, it's so tall. They told me one thing, but I'm not sure what it, what it really is. We sat down with the commissioner of the Department of Design and Construction to find out. One of the things that we saw at 9 11, when the uh, uh, Twin Towers fell down, um, a lot of our um, communication support was within the area that was affected. So the city designed Public Safety Answering Center 2 to receive 911 calls and coordinate emergency responses. The project is intended to act as a supplement to Public Safety Answer Center 1 in downtown Brooklyn and as a backup in case of an emergency like a natural disaster or a terrorist attack. But the commissioner says one major challenge was reconciling the need for security with the building's aesthetic. The architects actually have to work really, really hard to put the very few windows that you see there. City councilman James Vaca says he and many residents think it's an eyesore. It is one of the most hideous looking buildings I've ever seen. It's like a piece of metal in front of, in front of your house. Still, Vaca says it will increase police presence in the area, making residents safer. You say you're all for it then? I think so. Safe. So if it's, you know, it's always good. It's not beauty, but if it's, if it's necessary and then it becomes beauty. The center is set to begin operating in 2016. Diane Macedo, CBS 2 News. The commissioner says the building is very environmentally friendly and costs roughly $700 million. He adds the project has already awarded more than $60 million in contracts to local businesses.